everybody, it's me, Miss You, and we are going to create a new document. You're going to go create document, and you're going to call it 1.3.5, um, and documenting a design, part one. Okay, and now we're going to go part one um, happens to be uh, design details. We're going to look at some details. We're going to call it part one. We're going to go OK. And for we've been creating a lot of parts. And instead of creating a part, we're going to download a part. There's two ways to download this part. Uh, the first way is through Google Classroom. And this is what is posted to Google Classroom. And then it says, download the following file, Trammel Beam MK Step 2. This is not my file, but it works great. You could also get this file on the Project Lead the Way website, and you could also get this file um, on the VEX website. So we're going to let it download, so that's great. And now we're going to go back to um, uh, the document we have, and I'm going to move this in the corner where it says plus. I'm going to go import. And I'm going to now uh, go to my downloads and I'm going to download the Trammel Beam. Yours probably does not say five, but I'm going to go check. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to go import this document and I'm going to go OK. So now it says upload in progress. And we're going to wait. You see it says CAD imports on the bottom. And another part is going to show up when everything's done. So let's look at the bottom tabs. And you will see it says Trammel Beam MK2. So now I'm going to go X. And it says translation completed. The type of file this was was, I think it's um, was a file that's compatible with all um, CAD programs. It's called a STEM file. I'm now going to go to the part, okay? And you're going to see a uh, VEX part. It's a little bit dark. Yours might be a little lighter. Depends on your setting. In any case, we're going to create from this part. We're going to now. I want you to see. Because it came in on the, uh, this is the top, we're going to change the top orientation because I think what is listed as the top is the most descriptive. And so that's going to become the front. So when we bring it in to the drawing, we're going to change the orientation. So I'm going to go check. I'm going to go um, move this. I'm going to move it all the way up here. Um, I'm going to go check plus create drawing. And I'm going to do a standard template, even though they ask us to do a custom template. We're not going to do that. We're going to go check. OK. We're just waiting for it to be downloaded. And uh, it says generating preview. I think we could still bring it in. So we're going to select it. And, um, and it says the top. Remember, I'm going to switch my front view orientation. I'm going to go top. And let's see if we could see it yet. And that is my top. I would also like to, and I think I'm going to go back to bringing it in. I think I'd like it a little bit bigger. Um, so my scale, it says two to one. And I think I'm one to two. I think I'm going to try. I think one to one is bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to also delete uh, this one because I want it to be bigger. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I have it a little bit bigger to a scale of, and now I'm going to delete. I'm going to get out of projection view. I'm going to highlight it and press backspace. 
I want to have also um, a side view. So I'm going to go back to projection, projected view. I'm going to get a little side view over here. And I want a, an isometric view over here. My isometric view, I want to be a little smaller. So I think I could write, I, my scales went to one. And I think if I selected the scale, I could then switch it to, uh, let's see what happens to one to two. There you go. That's my isometric. And I kept my sheet as A, even though they ask us for size B. The reason I kept my uh, sheet in A is because that's what my printer is if I ever want to print anything out. So I'm now going to move these down, and we're going to look at a detailed view. And the detailed view has uh, the word A. Okay, and it goes detailed view. And I'm going to... They ask us to do a detailed view of at least three holes. So I'm going to select the middle hole, okay? And I'm going to do a concentric circle around it right until here, okay? And I'm going to bring it up over here, right in between the two views, okay? And my scale is one to one. Um, I wonder what would happen if I did a switch to two to one. Let me see if there is a two to one because that should make it even bigger and easier for us. Let me go to two to one. Oh, I didn't want that switch. So let me go back to one to one. Okay. And um, I'm going to, oh, it, my detail scale is a two to one. Okay. And I'm going to move, go escape. I'm going to go check. Okay. And this text, I'm going to move it aside so we see it a little better. And you see the circle over here that's being uh, with an A. Now you could see detail A, and that's an enlargement and you could go three to one depending on the size of your paper and the size of the original one so uh, this is the basics of what we want the next thing that i want is um, a detail of section b but we're going to do that once i have all the measurements um, if you look on the next page you could see um, that is called a section view when we cut it across so uh, now we want the overall length, width, and height. Uh, those are the first three measurements that we'd like to always do. And for the over, so we're going to go to dimension. Before I do dimension, I want to do the center mark because it will make it way more accurate when dimensioning. So I'm touching, you can touch any circle you want. It will still give us the center mark. So I am touching the outside or the inside. Everything's concentric, so um, we should have the same thing. I'm just doing center mark here. And I'm going to do center mark over here, one. Uh, center mark over here and center mark over here. So I did the first two and the last three. Um, once I have the center marks, um, we're going to start with the overall um, distance, okay? It's going to be a little bit crowded, um, so the overall distance, I'm going to go, we want the min and the max, so let's see the maximum or minimum dimensions, so it has it between these two points, and I think I'm going to do the top view for that. I have one and two, because this is so small, it's hard to see. So let me get, did I lose it? No. I did the ma maximum or minimum dimensions. Let me see. I think it's meant for actually a circle. So let's see if I could do it over here. Okay. 
So the maximum and minimum dimensions of the circle, we're just going to do the outer arc. And we'll do the outer arc over here. So I need to zoom in some more. It says difficult if you don't have, oh, there we go. And now we could see our overall dimension is 4.988, which is pretty close to five, which is what we're supposed to be having, but there is tolerances. Um, and you see it says plus or minus 0 0.01, okay? And I think uh, when I downloaded it from the website, it was 5.0, but um, this is a model that was made and it's a little bit less, okay? Uh, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is, so that's the overall length. Next, we're gonna do the overall width and the overall height. So um, the overall height I'm gonna do over here, since I have a one, Whoops, I forgot to, we want to go back to our regular dimensions for max and min. Those are only for um, radiuses and diameters. And now we're going to do the overall height. Okay, and that is 0.488. And the, that's the overall um, That's the overall height or width. And now we're going to go, I'm gonna get out of dimension. I wanna move it and I wanna recenter things. Okay. And now for the overall width, um, we want to do the radii. And when you double that, of course, you get the overall width. So I'm going to touch the outside of the circle. And I have uh, the radius is 0.243. And um, that is what I have for the overall width, because you're going to double it. And of course, you're going to get 0.486. OK, now we're going to look at our detailed view. Um, and we're going to do some measurements on our detailed view. The measurements that we're going to do are going to be, we're going to start off with the circles. So we have the outer circle. Now we're going to do the inner circles. You just touch the outside of the circles. Now we're going to do the distance between the circles. And now that we have the center points, it's 0.5. And um, now we're also going to do the, um, the dip, the height of the dip from the top to the corner. And I have that as 0 0.039. Um, and we're going to do the height from the so that worked out 0 0.039. We're going to do the height from here to here. And that is 0.48. Okay, and we're going to do the width from here to there. And that is, I'm going to try to do it right here, 0.5. Oh, that was way too long. 0.56, there I go. And now I wanna go from, from dip to dip. I don't know how else to call it. From indentation to indentation to see what that is. And we're just doing whatever measurements we see for total um, 0.506, okay? Um, The little indentations are actually um, circles, they're rounded. And so we could do, um, find out the radii of them. Um, 
So I'm, I could do radial dimension, um, or I could just do dimension and really zoom in to get it nicely. So let's see if that works. So let's see, will I get that radius? No. Nope. So I'm going to do radial dimension. And that will find, there I have my radius, 0 0.08. And this radius over here is 0.27. Okay. It makes me think that this is not a radius. It's probably a straight line. So I'm going to get out of my radial dimension. I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to redo it, okay? I'm going to go back to my radial dimension, and I'm going to really zoom in over here. No, nope. it seems as though my radius is 0 0.08 for the outer one and 0 0.027 for the inner one. And let's see if I'm missing anything. Um, I think I pretty much, uh, let me change this to isometric view. And to me, when I'm looking at it, I feel I have almost everything. So let me take a quick look again. The only measurement that I think we might be missing is the inner circle. I see I have the radius of 0.124 and 0.124 again. So I'm going to... Uh, right click it i'm going to go delete and i'm going to go uh, dimension again and i'm going to get the inner circle over here and let's see what it comes out with 0 0.165 great and the last measurement might be um the distance from the indentation to the center so let's do it over here from the indentation to the center and that is 0.256. So it's pretty messy. It's very busy. Uh, they might have had a, an additional measurement that we wanted to use. It does not look like we're doing the top view at all. So we could delete the top view to make it a little bit cleaner. Um, let's get out of dimensions, select it, backspace, and this is it. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be look, looking at the section view. Uh, we're just going to go switch to section view, and we're going to go vertical. We're going to do the vertical section view, and I'm just going to do it at any point. I think I'm going to try to do it right in the middle over here in the middle of a circle, and let's see what it looks like over here. This is gonna be the section view. It is really small, so I'm going to now increase it. Uh, let's try a ratio of three to one, three to one, and that makes it nice and big. Um, I'm gonna take the words. So I'm gonna go check, and now I'm gonna take these words and I'm gonna put it on top, and we could see our section view. And I'm going to move this top view off to the corner, and we'll do whatever we could do. Actually, I think I'm going to move this a little higher. And, oh, it has to line up nicely, so I think I'm going to move it lower. And I'm going to put this at the bot, put this right on the side. I'm going to move it lower because I see stuff that's interfering. There, that looks good. I'm going to change, move where the words are. And those words are, by the way, our annotation, which is the next activity that we're doing. And now we're going to um, do a section view. We're going to go through all the measurements we could. So we're going to select dimensions. And let me see, where is it? My dimensions. Here it is. And we have the overall dimensions of the height, but let's now just find the width. 
This is 0.24. And now we're going to do from here to here. This is 0.3. I'm not completely understanding all the lines, but um, we want just the overall dimensions. 0.51. And you guys could continue and follow the instructions.